Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to Lori Farm. Let's check out what we have growing. So this is greenhouse number one and I have a ton of cucumbers growing on this side which are coming in really really good. As you can see they're leafing out and expanding and vining which is exactly what we want. So that is a very good thing. Then they leaf out nicely like this and they start vining. It's really good. It's even better when you start flowering. So I'm very excited to see what's going to happen in the next couple of weeks. And then on this side, um, I have my tomatoes. And over here, I already have one turning red, which is so exciting when you're growing fruit and vegetables. It's starting to orange already. This is a early girl variety. That's the reason it's already turning red. I cannot wait to eat that one. I'm thinking I'm going to start with a BLT. We do also have a few other varieties growing in here. We have our Roma tomatoes, which are these two right here. And they're finally starting to produce also. They're really, really, really teeny still, but they are coming through. So I'm excited to eat some of those and get working on making salsas and marinara sauces and all sorts of fun stuff. What I'm also really excited about is down here we have um, our cherry tomatoes. And these one we've actually been eating for probably about a week. And as you can see, they're starting to redden really, really well. This one just falls right off when you take it, but it's pretty delicious. I like these ones for like pasta salads or just throwing together with um, mozzarella and stuff or just eating straight off the vine. So delicious. That one was really juicy, actually. It was really juicy. So it's got a bunch growing right now. We'll probably have a couple handfuls in the next couple of weeks. These are one of my favorite varieties because they're just easy eating and you don't really have to do much with them. But they are really delicious. Hmm. All right, on to the next one. This is the second greenhouse. If you haven't watched our other videos, they used to be um, polyed, so they were actually used like greenhouses. Now we just have them wrapped to keep our animals out. And this poultry netting has worked really well for us. But come on in. This is our zucchini one, and it is working out exactly as planned. I'm really excited that um, all the changes that we did make worked out the way we wanted to. In here, we put plastic down, and that has made it so I've had to do pretty much nothing in here besides water. What are you working on? Uh, trying to get this weed disaster out of my way. So, coming up the greenhouse fencing. Regretting I didn't do it sooner. What was that? Paper cut by grass. Yeah, this sucks. I'd rather be doing anything but this. Well, not anything, because there are a few other products I don't want either. Um, but things are growing really well. I have a ton of zucchinis. This side is growing probably bigger and faster for whatever reason and I have a ton of zucchinis coming through. Some of them are ready to be picked but I'm still going to give them just a day or two. Um, so how you can tell when your zucchini needs to be picked is it kind of depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking to just get a big one that's not very flavorful you can wait quite a bit but if you're looking for like that really crisp sharp flavor you want to pick them when they're about this size, maybe just a little bit bigger, and those are going to be best for cooking. They're going to be a little more crisp, and they're going to have a lot more flavor when they're smaller like that. And generally, you want to have the flour on if you're looking for a really big amount of flavor. Otherwise, if you're just using them for like zucchini bread or something like that, you can generally let them get double this size. So now we're going to head down to our newest addition, which is our permanent greenhouse right down this way. So this is our new addition this year. We did this permanent greenhouse, which is working out really, really well. Um, the plants are pretty much at peak growth, which is the busiest part of the season for us. Um, everything's growing, so we got to get on it. And as soon as it starts fruiting, we got to pick and do what we're going to do with it, either can, eat it, or whatever your plan is. And I'm really happy with the way everything has turned out this year. 
I love the raised beds. It really knocks down on my weeding time and really any other extra time you spend in the garden, um, which if you're like me and you're crazy busy all summer with plans, doing this and that and everything, it's kind of hard to get to all the garden needs and stuff. So the raised beds have really helped with that and minimized what we have to do out here, which is something I absolutely love. And as you can tell, everything's growing really great. Um, we do have beans on these outside planter boxes, which are new additions this year. And they're growing and starting to vine out and spread. They haven't started flowering quite yet, but you can see the flower buds. So that's going to be pretty soon. And beans are like zucchini. As soon as they start growing, they just kind of, you got to keep picking them because they keep growing and keep growing and the harvest will go into about fall or when you get your first frost. So these are a really good one to grow. Number one, they're easy and they grow for a really long time and they're really low maintenance. Um, inside the greenhouse here, we've had some pretty big changes in the last week. My husband Shane has been working really hard trying to get these back two planter boxes in. And we also added this really cool addition in the center, which is gonna be my gardening table. So I'll be able to, um, Get my plants going over here, throw in some dirt over here. And the thing I like about this is when I'm getting messy and throwing my dirt in the pots and getting things planted, the dirt's just going to fall through here. And there's a little basket in there to catch all the dirt so I'm not wasting anything, which saves a ton of time. And it looks really nice. And I'm excited to get some plants going out here. And it's going to be so much easier for next season. I'm all about making improvements that make less work. And this one's going to be one of them. We do still have a little ways to go here. We got some dirt to throw in and then figure out what we want to get planted in here. So if you have any ideas, shoot them in the comments. I'd love to hear them. Hopefully it's something we haven't thought of, which would be great. On this side of the greenhouse, we have our green peppers, which are growing and producing pretty well. I'm hoping they double in size here in the next couple of weeks. I am really hoping we get some rain. We do catch rainwater in buckets so we can use rainwater when it actually does rain. But we've been in a drought, so we really haven't had much rainwater. So I feel like as soon as it rains, things are just going to double and triple in size because there's something about rainwater versus any sort of other water. But things are still looking really good and turning out great. We also have planters that are hanging. These ones are cucumbers, and these ones are vining out wonderfully. I'm excited to see how these do in the next um, few months. I'm hoping to weave them through the lattice so it's not only functional but also really pretty and we get a higher yield of cucumbers by doing it that way. Um, we also have our blueberry bushes, what we put in this old wash tub here, or old uh, drinking tub. And these ones are actually producing already. We have a few, bright, a few different colors, but this one's ready to be picked. It's that deep blue color. Now, I haven't tasted any of these yet, so I think I'm going to do it before one of the kids get it. Mmm, very sweet. Way better than store-bought, I can tell you that. They're a lot more fruity and way juicier and not tart at all. So these were a really good idea because they're going to produce for a long time. And the way we eat blueberries, this is going to save us a ton of money. Plus, they're really, really good. I also bought a black raspberry, which is this. And it has doubled in size, which is good because these spread and kind of go crazy. And they're just uh, black raspberry. So they're just a different kind of flavor of them. They're supposed to be a little bit more um, sweet, I guess. I've never had one. So that's why I bought it is I was like, I never had it. Might as well try it. Let's see how it goes. And so far it's run really great. But speaking of raspberries, I got to show you this. So we have a ton of naturally growing raspberries that we found on our property when we moved in. And this is like peak season for them for the next couple of months. They're growing and there is berries everywhere. Um, both my kids came out and ate a whole bunch today and so did I. But they're still fruiting and they're everywhere. Like there's nowhere on this property where you don't see them. There's a whole bunch right in there. They run along all through in here, all through behind the greenhouse around our windmill and go into the woods. So right now what we do is we just go out and grab a bowl and pick, pick, pick all the red ones. And then you gotta keep coming out because they don't stop fruiting as you can tell. They're just everywhere. The trick is getting to them before the animals do. So 
so these are our planter boxes that we made out of old pallets. Um, if you're interested to see how that's made, you can always check out one of Shane's videos on it. But these are our beets, and these ones we've harvested several times already, and the beets have been absolutely delicious. They don't even compare to store-bought. These ones are sweeter. They just taste so much better. If you've never had a fresh garden beet that isn't store-bought, you're really losing out. Um, but these are really good. We wait till they're a little bit bigger than this. I don't like them super big like you find them in the grocery store because I feel like they lose all their flavor and taste. Another thing is you can eat the leaves here. You can eat these raw or you can just fry them up in some olive oil with a little garlic salt. It tastes delicious. We do it all the time. Or just throw them in a fresh salad. But we grow a ton of these and we just kind of pick and replant because these ones have grow really quick and we eat a ton of them and they're absolutely delicious and really, really good for you. So our potato plants are doing really well. If you've never grown potatoes, they just kind of sprout out like this out from the dirt and you go through and heal them to try to keep them from flopping over too early. Um, I did have a little bit of a scare today. I kind of dug in there and couldn't find any potatoes, but then I just went deeper and I found quite a few. They're not quite ready for us to harvest. But they are doing really great and they're sizable they're about like this but i'm hoping to get them more around like there so we'll see how that goes one thing to keep in mind when you grow um, potato plants is these grow from the flowers here and they are toxic to dogs and other animals so you want to make sure to keep your dogs away from these if they like to munch in the garden but other than that these are pretty easy and they are growing really great and you can grow them um, in minnesota anyways fall, summer, and spring. So these are good to have and to just kind of replant throughout the season and then you never run out of potatoes. A few other things we've done back here is we have some carrots. These ones have a little longer growing season so they'll take a little bit but they are looking absolutely perfect. Things are growing in real nicely here and then we have more beans because again we eat a ton of beans and these ones are vining out. These ones are a little bit further along than the ones in the front of the greenhouse. And that's because these were planted first because we we're in the middle of building the new greenhouse. But these ones are growing really nice, vining out well. I wouldn't be surprised if um, I found a few little beans on here. Otherwise, it'll probably be only about a week or so because these ones are looking really good and spreading really nicely. I love this part of the season when you actually get to enjoy the harvest. It's amazing how much change we've had in just a week. Things have grown and they're looking awesome. If you'd like to see that change, check out this video right here. And thanks for watching and have a great day.